Okay, so like I was saying earlier, um, until we get the spindle trammed, uh, you know, we, we can't can't machine this down flat. Because, uh, you know, I have only put that into tram just with a, a you know, a T-square. And uh, it's not good enough. Okay? So, that's the next thing. Um, but what I, what I personally use, in conjunction with that uh, DTI gauge, is a granite slab. I've got a couple of, I acquired a couple of granite slabs some years ago and uh, they've come in very useful. They are extremely flat. Um, that's why people use them. <laughs> okay, so I am going to get the granite, granite slab on here and using the same sort of technique as probing, okay, I'm going to get that perfectly flat on here just by putting shin material under it in certain areas to get it perfectly flat. Like I say, using exactly the same process as probing the bed. This is quite heavy. It weighs about uh, probably 20, 20 kilos, maybe 25 kilos, somewhere around that which is about 50 pounds. Now that is really smooth and flat. So now I'm going to probe it in four different areas and um, shim it up to make sure it's perfectly flat. Okay, I've got this now perfectly flat within less than a thousandth of an inch over its entire surface. So, I'm going to bring it now to the middle, like this. Okay, so let's take it down. And all you simply do is rotate this around and notice the change of the needle. Let me see. That's reading 90 there. 90 and just under 90. So let's, uh, I'm going to set this at I'm going to set the zero at this point, okay, which means, you know, in the X direction over here at uh, nine o'clock then, as it were. So let's, um, let's set the zero there. Okay. And you can see, as I move forward to the 6 o'clock position, it's 0.2 of a millimetre change. And over this direction... That's... 0 0.05, 0 0.05 of a change between here and here. So up and down that way isn't too bad. Take it over the back here. Oh, that's way out. This is here. We have. 75 and there we have so it's half pretty well half a millimeter out of tram in this direction like this um, okay 
Okay, so about 90 there. You check that again. It's 0.15 out there, so it's just slightly out of tram here. Needs to come down. So this actually needs to be twisted that way, very very slightly. But it needs to the the bottom needs to come out this way. Quite a bit. So I'm going to get some shim stock material now and undo this bracket. So I can put some shim stock under the under the bottom here to just move it very very slightly. We're talking, you know, sort of uh, a couple couple of fair. Okay, I've got some uh, shim brass and I'm going to put up. Slide up in underneath here. Find the right spot to put it. That side. Whatever you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. Okay, that's about um, four fail actually. Make that up. Zero that there. Okay, so we got it down to point two of a millimeter. And the side to side that way hasn't changed. So I'm just gonna cut another shim and add to that underneath. Okay, after about um 20 minutes of shimming up underneath here okay I've got it to within well oops take my hand off that you know it's within it's less than 0 0.0 it's actually 0 0.03 something like that so you know it's it's good <laughs> uh, you know you're not even going to see that it's less than a thousandth of an inch over a distance of what four four and a half inches so um, it's not going to show up on a two inch tool anything okay so we've got that done okay um Okay, so everything now is sorted out. Now I've wrote a very quick program in Cavco, um, giving me a one millimeter depth of cut, which should, you know, it's going to skim the whole uh, surface. And considering uh, the the total depth is uh, just a, around about half a millimeter, you know, I'm sort of playing it safe. 
Because um, I didn't, you know, sort of probe every inch of this. So I'm sort of making sure that, uh, okay, it's going to skim everything out. And um, so, yeah, millimetre in Z that I'm taking out. And uh, of course, this is two inch or 50 millimetres. And the step over is 22 millimetres. And uh, feed rate is 40 millimetres, but I will be starting it up on like 50% of that. And uh, make sure everything's cut in right because this is a you know it's a big tool. Uh, the, these motors aren't known for being high torque, uh, although there's a fair bit of torque. You know when you get up around the the 18 to 20 thousand mark, I'll be running this at uh, 18 thousand RPM. Might knock it up a a little bit more. After you tell a lot by the sound of the cut. Uh, as well as the look of the cat and um, well we'll see how it goes I'll set the zero here uh, so I'm going to set the zero about a millimeter above the surface of this this is the lowest part here um, so let's go in fact I'll set all the zeros there oh, do you know what I didn't do I didn't home it first did I so let's home, let's home it. Take it up somewhere near and set the home. Way in front of myself. Okay. That'll do. I'll have to get a payment for this, I think. Okay, so I've reset the zero now a half millimeter further down. So, uh, and I think I should be all right there then. problems. I'll bring you over the back here so you can have a look. If you notice here that you, know, you can barely feel them but it's about a thou 
third third and a half, uh, and it's it's in the y direction, like that. X direction is not too much of a problem. Um, so I oh, also there's a hollow here didn't cut. There's a hollow there all the way down that didn't cut. So I thought, okay, I will retram. Uh, and I put a thou and a half, an additional thou and a half under the back of the, the boss here um, to square it up, you know, just that little bit more. And if you keep an eye on the DTI here, see so it's reading zero pretty well all the way around. It's not moving very much at all. I mean, in its entirety all the way around, I think it's only one one hundredth of a thou. Now, I, I really, sorry, one one hundredth of a millimetre. So I, I, I can't get it any better than that. That's really and truly good enough uh, for a, a CNC router. You, you know, you won't get them any better than that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, I will recut this. I won't put you through the pain of video in the recut but uh, I'll do it and uh, I'm only going to take off about uh, oh, 0.25 a millimeter and uh, that should be fine uh, so I'll bring you back in when I've done it That's better. So, been quite a long one today, but um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video today. If you have, please press like and subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to help the channel out, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons that well hold this channel together. So patron information is below this video in the video description area. And at this point I would like to thank all the patrons that do contribute to this channel and keep it going. So thank you very much guys. So I hope you all pop in to see another one of my videos of which there's now just over 700 videos over two channels. So, thank you for joining me, and it's bye for now.